Welcome, my name is Brett. I am a digital marketing consultant with ClickMill.co, and you are joining us for the Google Ad Grant, the ultimate guide, where we are gonna be doing step-by-step -step walkthroughs to get your organization the $10,000 a month Google Ad Grant. Now, congratulations if you're with us this far, you are on step five, where we're actually going to open a Google Ads account um, and if you've made it this far with us, that means that you have been approved for your TechSoup account um, and you have also made an email for your Google Ads account and have created a Google for Nonprofits account and you have been accepted by them. And so we are going to continue on with this, uh, creating a Google Ads account right now. Okay, so for those of you who are ready to go ahead and make your Google Ads account, I do just want to give you a little bit of a warning. Sometimes this can get a little bit tricky and that's why we have included three different uh, methods of getting this account up and running now the main thing that, the main issue that's going to come up um, if it does here but that may come up for you is not entering your billing information into google uh, into google ads and so when you go to the google ads homepage and you try to create an account there it is going to ask that you put in your um, your billing information we do not want to do that if you put in your billing information you will not be able to uh, be registered for the google ads grant and of course we don't want that um, so we're going to try to avoid putting in this billing information and if we cannot do that if you're not able to do that then you can call um, the google ads customer support line and they will be able to help you um, kind of skip that step uh, but we're just going to try to do it here uh, so let's get into it. Now you can see the link to this article, Google Ad Grant, the ultimate guide. You can see it below the video if you're on YouTube. And uh, we're just going to scroll down here. We're on step five. We're just going to scroll down just a little bit further and see we say avoid entering billing information. And we're just going to click this link right now. And this link is going to open the Google Ad Grant account creation guide. Now this is Google's um, back door to skipping billing information. And so this is what we're going to create our account in. And so I'm actually going to, uh, I actually already have that open. Now, when you get in here, you're going to see uh, that there is a get started button. And this is the button that you're going to click to actually create your Google ads uh, account uh, and skip the billing information. Now, the only thing that I want to caution you here on this screen is to be sure that the correct profile um, is selected. And so if this is not the right email up here in your top right-hand corner, make sure that is selected. And then once that's done, you're going to click get started. Now, again, I've already done that and I have already put in uh, the organization that we're going to be signing up for the Google Ad Grant. Uh, and now I do have permission to use this organization uh, all through this walkthrough. And so I have put the email in here that was used um, earlier, I believe in step two, to sign up and get that Google for Nonprofits account. So you be sure that you're using your Google for Nonprofits account. Now, um, you make sure you put in United States here your time zone. Um, I am actually on Eastern time, so that's important. And uh, US dollar. And it's telling me I have a new version of AdWords available. Let's see what happens here. Man, I've got this. Well, that's nice. Uh, okay, so we're going to save and continue and see what happens here. Okay, so now it's asking me what our website is. Okay, so let me pull up that website. Okay, yep, this is it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up the website. I'm going to get the URL. Now, this is actually a new feature. I've gone through this a, you know, numerous times and I haven't actually run into needing to put the URL in. So um, that is a, a bit of a new feature and we're just kind of improving here. Okay, this is it. And so we are going to go back to the screen. So it's asking us for this. And okay, and so then we are going to continue. Okay, so you can see that uh, the next screen has come up and now it does not appear that the uh, account completion has actually worked. And so 
um, right here, this up here is what is your main advertising goal? Um, and it's going to ask that you go through some of these initial uh, setup options. And now what I want you to click, um, and this is kind of crucial, what I want you to click is I want you to click that you're experienced with Google Ads. And this is going to set up that step, or excuse me, it's going to skip that step. So we're going to click experienced with Google Ads. Okay. Now, uh, this is the next screen that's coming up and it's asking me to create a campaign. Um, and now if you're not aware and a campaign is what the ads are going to be built in. And so right now we just want to make the account and we do not want to set up a campaign. So I'm going to click again down here, create an account without a campaign. So we're going to continue. Okay. So now this is asking me to confirm my business information and this is not asking for billing information right now. This is a comp. This looks like a confirmation of what we have already done. Um, and so we'll see, we're going to click submit here and see how this works. Okay. And so this did work. So congratulations are all done. Explore your account. Uh, so we're actually going to cl click explore the account, but this means that we have an account and we do not have to enter billing information. That is exactly what we want to do. Uh, this was a best case scenario. And um, if we if you don't follow the instructions exactly or you miss a little something, don't worry. You will definitely be able to make an account. It just may take a couple extra steps, which are discussed in the second and third options uh, of how to go ahead and make that account. If this video has been helpful for you in getting your organization qualified for the Google ad grant, then I would just encourage you to click the link right below this video and jump on over to our website and in the article, the Google ad grant, the ultimate guide, where we're going to continue going through step by step to set up your entire Google ads account so that it will meet uh, the Google grant policy. And when you click uh, enroll, after getting everything set up, you're going to get approved. So again, I look forward to seeing you in the very next video.